Coming up on High School Quiz Show, we have Chelmsford High School. Yes. Taking on Newton North High School. And that's next on High School Quiz Show. Report a claim, pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life's storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in November, as many as 120 high school teams from across Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn, well, one of 16 spots in this year's competition. So the goal now is to become the next High School Quiz Show state champion. And by the way, take home this beautiful trophy. Our quiz show champions will then move on to compete against the winners of New Hampshire Public Television's Granite State Challenge, uh, the third annual Governor's Cup competition. That's what we call it. And by the way, today's matchup has Chelmsford High School taking on Newton North High School. So let's uh, get right to it and meet the teams. First of all, starting with Chelmsford, uh, we've got Rupesh, Alicia, Aditya, and Evan. And the alternates on the sideline are Richard and Greg. And the coach is Craig Vitale. Nice round of applause for Chelmsford, please. <laughs> and now we meet the team from Newton North. We've got Nathan, Zach, Andrew, and Elliot. The alternates on the sideline are Connor and Tommy and coaches Albert Cho and Gregory Drake. There's Newton North for you, everybody. Yeah. What do you know? We've got the Chelmsford Lions and the Newton North Tigers. Lions and Tigers, oh my, stop it. Just stop it. Uh, the competition has four rounds. A toss-up, a head-to-head, a category round, and of course, a lightning round. And we start with the toss-up round, all answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So if everybody's ready to play, let's get on with the game. Name the only person ever to be elected U.S. president four times. Evan. Roosevelt, specifically Franklin. Correct. Uh, in a classic children's book by Judith Viorst, uh, what title character has a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day? Zach. Alexander. That's correct. Uh, the Peloponnesian War ended in 404 B.C. when Sparta defeated what rival city-state? Yes, Evan. Athens. Correct. In January 2014, what author of A Brief History of Time made headlines with his provocative statement, there are no black holes? Nathan. Stephen Hawking. That is correct. Uh, if you'll take a look at your individual screens, you will see a picture. Uh, the velvet-bound cover contains the Louisiana Purchase, a treaty that nearly doubled the size of the United States. It was signed by Napoleon Bonaparte and what American president? Andrew. Thomas Jefferson. That is correct. We move on. Larger than eBay and Amazon combined, what Chinese company is the world's largest online retailer? Yes, Nathan. Alibaba. Correct. Uh, what Shakespeare history play begins with the famous line, now is the winter of our discontent? Ooh. No, you did not make it. It is Richard III would be the correct answer. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean was formed when what supercontinent broke apart about 200 million years ago? Yes, Nathan. Pangea. That is correct. Uh, new DNA analysis completed in 2014 supposedly reveals the identity of what serial killer who terrorized London's East End in 1888? Zach. Jack the Ripper. Yes. Uh, your next question is going to be up on the video screen, so take a look and certainly give a listen. Here you go. Hi, I'm Dr. Christian Rubio. I'm a professor of modern languages at Bentley University. Here's my question. 
Characteristic of the American West and Southwest, what flat top mountain or hill is named after the Spanish word for table? Nathan. Mesa. Mesa is correct. Uh, the Rio Grande has its source in what Western U.S. state? Zach. Colorado. Yes. Uh, the 2013 film Frozen is based on what fairy tale by Hans Christian Andersen? Yes, Zach. The Snow Queen. Correct. Uh, with their recent world tour, what Irish band overtook the Rolling Stones record for the highest grossing tour ever? Zach. You too. Yes, according to U.S. News and World Report, which of the following costs grew the most from 2003 to 2013? Was it A, medical care, B, housing, or C, college tuition? Yes, Elliot. Medical care. No, Chelmsford, you want to try? Evan? Tuition. Uh, college tuition is correct. Having three in college, boy, do I know that. <laughs> To prevent people from denying the Holocaust to ever happen, uh, what U.S. general ordered the filming and photographing of Nazi death camps as documentation? Yes, Zach. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Yes, what Japanese-American conductor led the Boston Symphony Orchestra for 29 years, the longest tenure in the orchestra's history? Seiji Ozawa is the answer there. Also known as a vinegar fly, what type of fly is most commonly used in genetic studies? Yes, yeah, Zach. Fruit flies. Yes. Uh, in 1915, during Ernest Shackleton's doomed Trans-Antarctic Exposition, uh, what ship was crushed by ice and sank into the Weddell Sea? Yes, Zach. The Endurance. Yes. In 1997, China took control of what former British colony, agreeing to let it keep civil liberties not granted on the mainland? Yes, Andrew. Hong Kong. Yes. Approximately 70% of the universe is which of the following? Is it A, dark energy, B, dark matter, or C, gas? Yes, Evan? Dark energy. That is correct. Uh, what novel by Jonathan Safran Foer is uh, narrated by a boy named Oscar, whose father died in the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center on 9-11? Yes, Evan? Extremely loud and incredibly close. Yes. Uh, which two countries can you see from the top of Mount Kilimanjaro? Evan? Kenya and Tanzania. That is correct. For nearly 40 years, uh, Babe Ruth held the lifetime career record of 714 home runs. What player broke his record in 1974? Nathan. Hank Aaron. Yes. Math question. What two integers satisfy this equation? P squared equals 5P. Yes, Rupesh. Positive negative 5. No, uh, Newton North, you want to take it? Yes, Nathan. 5 and negative 5. No, the answer is zero and five. And we'll move on. Uh, what city was the capital of the Byzantine Empire until it fell to the Ottoman Turks in 1453? Yes, Aditya. Constantinople. Yes. Who was the first African-American woman to win a Pulitzer Prize for fiction for her novel, The Color Purple? Zach. Alice Walker. Correct. Lemurs are native to what large island off the southeastern coast of Africa? Nathan. Madagascar. Yes. In March 1820, Congress approved what compromise that tried to keep a balance between free states and slave states? Yes, Evan? The Missouri Compromise. Yes. Uh, what strait at the narrowest part of the English Channel is said to mark the boundary between England and France? Yes, Aditya. The Strait of Dover. Yes. Eleven Seconds is the title of a book by what former Boston University student who suffered a spinal cord injury 11 seconds into his first college hockey game? Zach. Travis Roy. Yes. In 1803, drawing on the work of many earlier scientists, what English scientist proposed what is now called modern atomic theory? Evan. Dalton. Yes. Uh, what 2013 film starring Christian Bale and Jennifer Lawrence is loosely based on the FBI ab scam sting operation of the late 1970s and early 80s? Yes, Elliot. American Hustle. Yes. Uh, according to a 2014 Gallup poll, what South American country with the capital city of Asuncion is the world's happiest country? Evan. Paraguay. Yes, the world's happiest country. Who knew? Uh, in 1999, what military alliance launched airstrikes against Yugoslavia? Elliot. NATO. Yes. Uh, what Latin term meaning after... Oh! Oh! There's the buzzer, the bell, uh, that ends round one. We'll take a look at the scores right now. Chelmsford, 100 points. Newton North, 210 points. Let's hear it, everybody. <laughs> All right, the 
head-to-head uh, -head round is next, but first we'd like to get to know the players, the teams uh, a little bit better. I've got a question I will ask, same question for all of you, and you'll give your individual answers. And we'll start over here with Chelmsford and you, Rupesh. Are you better suited to individual or team competitions and why? Um, I'd prefer to work individually so that um, all the, the stress and the pressure of uh, letting other people down just disappears and you can work on your own and whatever the result is, it's on yourself. Okay. Alicia? I work under both circumstances quite often, but if I had to pick one, I'd pick team competition. Working together and receiving input from others is uh, more helpful and plus it's more fun. And make new friends. Uh, Aditya? <laughs> My instincts tell me that it's better to work alone because sometimes I don't trust other people, but <laughs> experience teaches me that it's better to work in groups because that way you can all share the workload. Okay, well said, Evan. Uh, generally, I prefer working on my own because it really helps me to plan out everything and sort of wrap my head around the entire problem. All right, we'll move on to Newton North. How about you, Nathan? Uh, I definitely say team because I think everyone can bring something different to the table. All right, Zach? I'd say team because I like having common experiences with other people. All right, and Andrew? I'd say team because uh, being part of a team makes you prove yourself and makes you a better person. Okay, and finally, Elliot? I prefer team competition because I like having teammates to back me up. All right, all right. Now, the head-to-head -head round I love because one of you from each team will come forward and go, well, head-to-head. -head. So Chelmsford, who's coming forward? Evan and Newton North? It'll be Zach. So Evan and Zach, come on down. Let's go head-to-head. -head. set to go head to head. I've got Zach to my left. I've got Evan to my right. You guys want to shake hands? A little gentlemanly handshake. Uh, as a reminder, in this head to head round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points, but you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer. So if you guys are both ready, the clock is set at 90 seconds. And here we go. What U.S. president was nicknamed for the great emancipator? Yes. Abraham Lincoln. Yes. In electronics, what does the abbreviation DC stand for? Direct current. Yes. Uh, name the world's largest nonpolar desert. Yes. Sahara. Correct. In a famous play by Sophocles, who unwittingly marries his mother? Oedipus. Yes. Uh, what legislative body is referred to as the lower chamber of the U.S. Congress? As a representative. Yes. yes. Uh, the Tigris and Euphrates rivers originate in what country? Yes. Turkey. Yes. Hydrogen and what other element make up ammonia? Nitrogen. Yes. What Massachusetts native scored a hit in 2014 with All About That Bass? Yes. Uh. Megan Trainer. Uh, Ronald Frames, a new novel, Havisham, is a prequel to what Dickens novel? Great Expectations. Yes. Uh, what soft material in the center of bones produces most of the body's blood cells? Bone marrow. Yes. England's King Henry VIII had how many wives? Six. Yes. Uh, what rhyming phrase refers to the first official flag of the Confederacy? Stars and bars. Yes. Honolulu and Waikiki Beach are located on which Hawaiian island? Oahu. Yes. In the 1530s, Jacques Cartier claimed what North American river for France? Yes. The St. Lawrence. Yes. Uh, the Great Depression began when the U.S. stock market crashed in what year? 29. Yes. Uh, in the 1600s. Ooh. Hi. That's the end of round two, the head-to-head -head round. As we take a look at the scores, Chelmsford High right now, total score of 130 points. Newton North, 310 points. Let's hear it for both guys, both teams. Absolute excitement. is the category round. We've got six categories. They are Despicable Me, Three Little Words, Fashion Police, The Life Aquatic, Welcome to America, and Arms and the Man. Uh, each category has five questions with increasing point value, so there is a lot at stake in the category round. By the way, you can confer with your teammates in this round 
Once you buzz in, though, you are no longer able to confer. We will need the answer right away. Uh, Chelmsford, you've got some uh, ground to make up, so you get to choose uh, the first category. What's it going to be? Fashion, Fashion police. police. Fashion police. Okay. For 10 points, from the Latin meaning cloak, what long, loose piece of clothing was worn in public by citizens of ancient Rome? Yes, Evan. Toga. Toga. You keep control of the board category. Let's go again. For 15 points, what five-letter word refers to the most concealing of all Islamic veils? A one-piece veil that covers the face and body, often leaving just a mesh screen to see through. Yes, Nathan. Burka. Burka is correct. You get control of the board, Newton North. Uh, let's go with the life aquatic. Questions about marine life. And for 10 points, sharks have no bones. Instead, their skeleton is made of what tough, fibrous substance? Yes, Evan. Cartilage. Cartilage is correct. You've got the board back, Chelmsford. Category? Fashion. Back to fashion police for 20 points. Uh, named after a prominent duke, uh, what type of waterproof boots became an outdoor wear staple among the British aristocracy in the early 19th century? Yes, Zach. Wellingtons. Yes, Newton North gets the board back. Welcome to America for 10. Questions about the history of U.S. Uh, immigration and, for 10 points, the Naturalization Act of 1790 allowed foreign-born residents to apply for citizenship. The requirements were two years of residency, good character, and what color skin? Zach. White. Yes, you've still got the board, Newton North. Okay, arms and the man for 10. Arms and the man. Questions, of course, about arms. For 10 points, what long bone that extends from the shoulder to the elbow is also known as the funny bone? Evan? Humorous. Yes, and Chelmsford, you get the board back category. May as well stick with fashion. You love that fashion <laughs> category, don't you? You're just such a fashionista, Evan. Oh, definitely. Uh, for 25 points, what French word refers to an ornamental shoulder piece on the jacket of a military uniform? Evan? Epaulette. Epaulette is correct. You've still got the board category. Let's go again. Of course. Fashion for 30. Uh, in the 1960s, Halston designed what small brimless hat that became part of Jackie Kennedy's signature look and was copied around the world? Zach. Pillbox. Pillbox is correct. Newton North, you've got it. Category? Welcome to America 15. For 15 points, the Immigration Act of 1924 was a stringent policy to limit immigrants from Southern and Eastern Europe in the wake of World War I. It was signed by what president? Zach? Calvin Coolidge. That is correct. You've still got the board staying here and moving on. Uh, arms and the man, 15. Arms and the man. 15 points. Arms, take your last embrace. What tragic hero says this in the final act of a Shakespeare play set in Verona, Italy? Elliot. Merchant of Venice. No, Chelmsford. Evan. Romeo. Romeo. You've got the board back, Chelmsford. Category? Life Aquatic. The Life Aquatic? Okay. Uh, this time for 15 points. Known for hunting in groups, what's the largest member of the dolphin family? Zach? Orca. Orca is correct. And uh, Newton North, you've got the board. Three little words for 10. Questions about three word phrases. And for 10 points, what are the first three words of the preamble to the U.S. Constitution? Zach? We the people. Yes. Category? Um, despicable me for 10. Uh, questions about villains and for 10. Uh, the Dark Lord Sauron is the eponymous Lord of the Rings in the Middle Earth series by what author? Uh, Alicia. J.R.R. Tolkien. Yes. And you've got the board Chelmsford category. Despicable me. 15 points. Uh, what archetypal evil genius is an ivory trader in Joseph Conrad's novella Heart of Darkness? Zach. Colonel Kurtz. Correct. And you've got the board, uh, Newton North. Three little words for 15. 15 points. So what is the opening line of uh, Herman Melville's Moby Dick? Nathan. Call me Ishmael. Yes, you've still got the board, Newton North. Uh, welcome to America for 20. Shortly after passing the Civil Rights Act of 1866, Congress drafted what amendment that guaranteed citizenship to all persons born in the U.S. regardless of race? Uh, Aditya. The 14th Amendment. Yes, and you've got the board Chelmsford category. Despicable me. For 20 points. What arch enemy does Sherlock Holmes describe as the Napoleon of crime? Evan? Moriarty. Yes, Professor James Moriarty. And you've got the board Chelmsford. Uh, stay with it. For 25 points. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What artificially intelligent computer says this when refusing to open the pod bay doors in the film 2001 A Space Odyssey? 
Zach? HAL 9000. Yes, that's correct. Newton North, you've got the board. Arms in the man for 20. In 1965, with Back in My Arms again, what Motown group had their fifth consecutive single top the Billboard Hot 100 chart? Nathan. The Jackson 5. No. Uh, you want to take a shot, Chelmsford? The Supremes. Newton North, you've still got the board. Three little words for 20. Uh, according to the poet Tennyson, tis better to have loved and lost than never to have what? And Nathan. Loved it all. Yes, you've still got the board category. The Life Aquatic for 20. Also known as uh, microalgae, what type of plankton consists of microscopic plants and is the base of the marine food web? Yes, Nathan. Phytoplankton? That is correct. You've got the board category. Welcome to America for 25. 25 points. Uh, the U.S. offered citizenship to about 100,000 Mexicans under the terms of what treaty that ended the Mexican-American War? Yes, sir. Guadalupe Hidalgo. That is correct. You've still got the board, Newton North. Um, arms in the man for 25. 25 points. Ernest Hemingway's novel, A Farewell to Arms, is set during the Italian campaign of what war? Zach? World War I. Yes, you've still got it. The Life Aquatic for 25. 25 points. Nemo in the film Finding Nemo is an example of what orange fish with three white stripes? Nathan. A clownfish. Clownfish is correct. You've still got the board. Where do you want to go here? Uh, welcome to America for 30. For 30 points. If passed, what bipartisan bill would provide residency to immigrants who enter the U.S. before age 16, live here for five years, and graduate from an American high school? Yes, Elliot. Dream Act. The Dream Act is correct. Category? Oh, and there's the bell that ends the category round. Taking a look at the score right now. Uh, Chelmsford High School, 250 points. Newton North, 590 points. How about some applause here in the room? Okay, we are headed into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. And, uh, guys, you get 20 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 20 points. The clock is set. If everybody's ready, let's go. Name the largest of the Earth's five oceans. Evan. Pacific. Yes. Sublimation is the process by which a solid changes to what state? Nathan. A gas. Yes, uh, World War II was largely fueled by the flawed negotiations of what 1919 peace treaty? Yes, sir. Treaty of Versailles. Yes. Uh, what famous detective solves the mystery of Agatha Christie's murder on the Orient Express? Alicia. Hercule Perot. Yes. In 2014, what East Boston thoroughbred racetrack closed down? Yes, Andrew. Suffolk Downs. Yes. Uh, the saying first, do no harm, is associated with what oath named for a Greek? Zach. Hippocrates. No. Hippocratic oath is the answer there. Uh, what European country once relied on slave labor from its colony in Brazil? Yes. Aditya. Portugal. Yes. Uh, which planet in the solar system has the slowest axial rotation? Uranus. No. Venus. Uh, the Soviet Union was officially dissolved December 25th of what year? 1991. Yes. yes, Justin Timberlake and Lance Bass, former members of what? Yes. In sync. Yes. Atomic number 86 refers to what heavy gas? Radon. Yes. Uh, the Broadway musical Bullets Over Broadway is based on a film by what director? Zach? Steve McQueen. No, Woody Allen. Uh, Abu Dhabi is the capital city of what country? United Arab Emirates. Yes. Uh, Beethoven originally dedicated his Eroica Symphony to what French leader? Oh. Whew. There's the buzzer ending the round and ending the game. The winner, Newton North High School. Total score of 650 points. Chelmsford High School, 300 30 points. Congratulations to both teams. Make some noise. Uh, Newton North, of course, will now move on to play in the quarterfinals. So be sure to tune in for next week's match between Hingham and Oliver Ames. Let's hear it one more time for both teams. Great job, guys. But that's it for this week. We'll see you next week right back here on High School Quiz Show. All right. 
Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Safety insurance. Sometimes you need additional protection, especially when it comes to auto, home, and business insurance. You can ask an independent agent about enhanced coverage from safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. of WGBH.